Hey boys and girls and welcome to Kids Corner again this week. We are going to meet a really cool guy. Do you know that he went through some huge struggles and had to pick between what his father wanted and his best friend. So that is a really hard decision to make except he knew what God wanted so he was able to make the right decision. So you know the drill before we get to meet anyone or do anything else we need to do some actions to some songs so i need you to stand up with me and we need to get all loose uh do the wiggles get the wiggles out and maybe stretch so put your hands up in the air and stretch as far as you can reach the sky and then lean over and stretch to one side and then stretch to the other side oh it feels good on my back then we can wiggle again and you bend down and touch your toes and up again and we are ready so let's do a song together and do some actions and I will be right back to do our memory verse and talk about who we're going to meet this week Whether I'm driving in the car or shopping in the store Making mashed potatoes or sweeping up the floor Cleaning up my room or starting up the mower I'm gonna praise the Lord I'm gonna praise, 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 praise the Lord Praise, 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 praise the Lord I'm gonna praise, 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 praise the Lord I'm gonna praise the Lord Whether I'm dancing like a robot or reaching for the stars Running through a sprinkler or climbing monkey bars Swimming in a lake or rocking my guitar I'm gonna Praise the Lord. I'm gonna praise, 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 praise the Lord. Praise, 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 praise the Lord. I'm gonna praise, 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 praise the Lord. I'm gonna praise the Lord. Everybody on the left, what you gonna do now? boys and girls and welcome back hopefully you did all the actions to the, that song and you're not too tired to be able to listen to what we're going to talk about next today we are going to meet a really cool guy his name is Jonathan now you're thinking hmm who is Jonathan have you ever heard of Jonathan before Jonathan is actually King Saul's son we met King Saul last week, and remember, he just wanted to get rid of David. But this week, we're meeting Jonathan, who is his son, but who actually really likes David. Not only likes David, but they are best friends, and they are so close that they are like more like brothers than friends. They really like each other, and they do a lot of stuff together. So we're going to find out how Jonathan handles the fact that his father, King Saul, wants to kill David. What do you do with that? Your best friend. Well, we're going to find out, but I'm not going to wreck the ending, and I'm going to let Jonathan tell you how he dealt with that himself. So in the meantime, well, let's do our memory verse. So our memory verse this week is, a friend is always loyal, and a brother is born to help in time of need. And that's found in Proverbs 17:17. 17, 17. So that'll be easy to remember, just two 17s. So you can repeat after me. A friend is always loyal. 
and a brother or sister is born to help in time of need. And that's Proverbs 17, 17. You can find this verse on your card. If you still have your cards, you'll, have, you'll see a card with the word Jonathan on it. And it says, be a true friend. That might give away a little bit of the story as we go to meet Jonathan, who, don't forget, is King Saul's son. So let's go meet Jonathan, and I'll see you back here to talk about it in a minute. Hey boys and girls, I'm here to tell you a little bit about my story. Pastor Stephanie wanted me to tell you a little bit about my friend David and my dad. So let's start at the beginning. My name is Jonathan, like I said, and my dad is King Saul. So I guess that kind of makes me like a prince or something. I don't know. Never really um, felt that. I went to war with the with the army and I fought and I I did all the things that I was supposed to do. So I just wanted to tell you a little bit about the story about how things got really complicated in my life. So I love God and I want to do, I've always wanted to do what he told me to do and to live right. I always wanted to be an honorable man. So things got really complicated when my dad, King Saul, got really jealous of David, who of course was my best friend. Like he, David lived at the palace. We hung out all the time. We did everything together. We were best friends. Like not weird, but like we just hung out all together. We went to wars together and we did things together. We. We were men together, but you know, my, my dad, who thought it was awful that David was anointed king and got all weird, um, whether you can believe it or not, wanted to kill David. So what is a guy to do when your dad wants to kill your best friend? Well, I sought God's guidance on this, and I knew it was wrong, and I knew the only reason that he wanted to kill David was because he was jealous, and he didn't want to lose his throne. Well, you know what? Get over it, right? Get over it. But he didn't get over it, and so I had to really look into things, and I had to get David out of the palace before something awful happened. So I was able to give... Uh, David my coat and my bow and whatever he needed so he could get out of there and escape because I didn't want my dad to kill him. He's my best friend after all. And if God had anointed him king, then forget it, right? Like he was going to be king someday whether my dad wanted it or not because God's ways are the only way. But somehow my dad just couldn't get over it. So David had to hide and get out of there. And I helped him. And I am okay with that because I know that that is what God wanted me to do. So, you know, it wasn't easy going against my dad. But honestly, I knew that it was the right thing. There was no question in my mind that God wanted me to help David. So I think when you know that you know that you're doing the right thing, you just sometimes have to do it anyway, even though someone might get upset with you or it might not be the popular choice. But honestly, do what you got to do to obey God and to do what you know is right. Because we all know the difference between right and wrong. And I'm pretty sure that murder is not in God's plan. So honestly, just follow God's plan and do the right thing. Thing. I don't think I'm that did anything that amazing. I just helped David not be killed. But whatever. I say, just do the right thing. Make the right choice. And I'll see you again. Talk to you later. Hey guys, welcome back. 
Hopefully you really liked Jonathan. I think he is a really cool guy. Can you imagine having to choose between your friend who is like your brother and one of your parents? That would be pretty hard, wouldn't it? I guess the key to Jonathan's situation is that he trusted God and that he sought God's advice on what to do because in those really hard decisions that we have to make sometimes, we really need to know what God wants us to do. And in this case, God called Jonathan to protect David, to stand up for David, to give David what he needed to get away so that King Saul couldn't kill him after all, right? But Jonathan really needed to seek God's advice in that because it wouldn't be an easy decision to make to have to choose between two people that are really important to you. But in this case, being a loyal friend and brother was what Jonathan needed to do, and he did it. That was absolutely amazing. So when you have hard decisions to make and you just don't know what to do, you really need to pray and to read the Word and to really seek God's um, help in making that decision because it isn't easy. But sometimes God calls us to make hard choices. But He will help us make them so we don't have to worry. Okay, so that's it from me this week, and I will see you next Wednesday. Have a great week, and I'll see you next week. Surf's up, dude. Your love pours down, splashes all around. It's as big as the biggest waterfall. Your love soaks me. So completely Till I'm drenched in The sweetest rainfall And I will shout out loud Love, it's all over me And hey, I cannot believe that Yeah, your love crashes down It's like riding a wave Whoa, makes me wanna dance And hey both my hands when yeah, your love crashes down. It's like riding a wave. It's like riding a wave. Your love. Is that